Thank you guys for tuning in. Previously, I had talked about setting up PixHawk with hardware in the loop simulation so I could test inverted flight in the simulator before I actually took it to the field. Well, in that video, I demonstrated how to compile the ArduPilot firmware and then install it in PixHawk. And unfortunately, I couldn't get the latest version. That's 3.5.3 of ArduPlane to run hardware in the loop. So what I decided to do was get this Bixler set up. I have PixHawk installed, everything configured for inverted flight, and I'm just going to uh, take it to the field to do so. But right now the weather is pretty horrible here in Austin, so what I'm going to do is demonstrate the setup, show you how to get into inverted flight, and test the direction of the ailerons in my elevator while inverted, and then in an upcoming video, I'll demonstrate this in the field. I have this pointed away from the camera so it'll be easier to see how this works. Now, I'm going to start with just working with my ailerons and I'll go ahead and go left and you can see this left one comes up. If I go right, right one comes up, rudder left, rudder right, elevator so I can pitch up and then pitch down. Now, let me switch into fly-by-wire A mode. And what's going to happen now is I roll left. You can see that that right aileron is coming up, which will try to bring it back to level. And then if I roll right, you can see that this left aileron comes up. Now, if I start to pitch down, you can see that the elevator goes up to bring it back to level and the same as if I pitch up. So constantly in fly-by-wire A mode, it's trying to keep the Bixler level. Now what I'm going to do, I'm still in fly-by-wire A mode, but I have this switch right here set to toggle into inverted fly. And what you'll do is you'll watch the ailerons as I flip this, and you can see it actually brings this left aileron up, which is going to give it a, I believe that's counterclockwise rotation. And now you can see that it's going to be flying upside down. So watch what happens when I roll right. That left side now comes up to keep it level. And if I pitch down, you can see that rear elevator trying to bring it back to level. So just by the flip of that switch, it's going to take our Bixler inverted. And then I'll go ahead and just toggle back. And you can see once again, this aileron comes up going to turn around back to level and then we have our standard or non inverted flight in fly by wire a mode really excited about getting this set up in just a second I'll switch over into mission planner and show you how to set this up it's really easy to do some of you may be wondering why I want to do this well I have this Bixler 3 that's just been flying for fun and I figured I'd demonstrate inverted flight just because, as you guys know, I'm really a big fan of PixHawk and some of the things that it can do. Let's go ahead and dive into how simple this setup is. Now, right now I'm on the flight data screen. I'm going to go over to config tuning and I am currently connected over the 3DR radios. I'm looking at the full parameter list and over here on the right, I'm just gonna search for inverted. See, we have this inverted flight channel parameter and you can set this up on pretty much any channel. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to set it to channel seven on my Tyrannus, and I'll go over here and write params. And on the Tyrannus, I will go to my menu and screen six, and you can see all the way down here on channel seven, I have this SC switch set up. Now I haven't configured any of the endpoints. All I've done is selected it, and then I'll go all the way down and that will make sure that the source gets picked up. And that's really all you need to do. Now this is a three position switch, so the middle position doesn't currently do anything, but if you read up on this inverted flight channel, it needs a value of over 1750 to engage inverted flight. So if we look at channel seven right now, if I go to middle, it's at zero. If I go all the way down, that's at 100, which means roughly 2000 PWM. Default, I'm going to take off in manual mode. So all that set up, then switch into fly-by-wire A mode for stabilization. And this switch 
this SC that we just set up. I'll go ahead and toggle it all the way down. And now we're in inverted mode and then back into normal flight mode. And lastly, before I leave you guys, I just want to show something that I learned. I actually discovered it on accident, but this Bixler 3 came with all sorts of Hobby King and Bixler branding, and I don't really want that on there. So what you can do, you can just grab some duct tape and then put it over. This is actually, at first I thought it was a uh, sticker. It's almost like it's uh, painted on. Very, very thin layer of paint. And you can see, I'll just pull that right off. I might actually get all of the markings off and maybe paint the Bixler, but just wanted to share that tip. And I'm looking forward to doing inverted flight. This is pretty much ready to go. I'm going to get it out to the field when the weather clears up. Do a fly-by-wire A mode test, get everything trimmed and then I'll demonstrate inverted flight. If you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.